Crews worked through the night after a washout in Joe Ridge caused a section of Highway 33 to collapse. We're hauling in lots of material. It's been a bit of a challenge to get going just because of how saturated uh, the ground is. You know, it's hard for equipment to work when it gets that saturated, so we need to we need to get a good rock base in there to allow them to do to get the fill back in. The goal is to control the water that's coming out of that bank, and crews are going to continue to work um, right through the night hauling material and and um, get the road open. We'll have a better idea in the morning on what kind of progress the crews were able to make over the night. Numerous slides have occurred across the southern interior in the recent days, but Surrett says this year is not unique. All over the Okanagan, the grounds are, are extremely saturated. It's just one of those years where the, the groundwater is, is higher than normal. The groundwater is not, not helping, but uh, you know, this time of year, this stuff isn't uncommon for us. We, we see, you know, we see um, you know, various slides of various sizes you know, each spring. So um, I, wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say yet that it's a unique year. Currently, it's not clear when Highway 33 will reopen, but Surrett says it will be in the coming days. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net. <laughs>